we're excited to see the famous 100 foot wave in Nazare. It's the calmest Portuguese sea I've ever <laughs> seen. But that's where we want to go, yeah. all the way up there. Maybe we're in focus? Let's just like do a... Hey, I'm trying to drive. A Google, what's it called? The intern. Hello! Can you see us? Let's can you hear us? us? Hello! See how small the webcam is? No, get your cheek. Nick, come okay, here, check but don't crown me. We can see you guys. Okay. So we're on our way to Nazare and I'm driving and Sarah's... I don't know what Sarah's doing. But <laughs> we're excited to see the famous 100 foot wave in Nazare. However, I did go on the Nazare webcam this morning and there seemed to be only baby waves. Now so, turn right. Oh no, I'm turning right. But the, the thing is, like, there's nowhere that you can really find details of when the competition will be. They say the competition that you see like in documentaries like 100 Foot Wave and stuff go from November to March. I get that it's depending on the uh, weather conditions, but there really isn't a, a like a reliable website which will tell you this information. Uh, all that's up to date. Oh, we figured, you know, these competitions attract surfers from all over the world and they can't wait last minute to come. So we're just gonna try our luck. The weather forecast was really good. It was 20 degrees. Uh, so we're going on this road trip. It was only supposed to be like a quick day trip. <laughs> it has actually turned into like a 48 hour extravaganza. meters, turn right. Stay tuned as we are going to be making a couple of vlogs out of this. Uh, just a quick question, Sarah. Uh, do we drive on the left or the right? Uh. It's a very quiet service station. It's like literally no one around. Closer. Yeah, it said you've got eight minutes, 4.7 kilometers, it's not bad. It was about two hours and eight minutes drive, so we've done two hours already, eight minutes to go. So we have just arrived in uh, Nazare and I don't know if you can see the beach is my hand the beach is just back there we'll and I am in complete shock I just went to put some money for our car park and guess how much it is for three well, hours we only had a few euros so we weren't in coins we were like oh my god we're not gonna have enough to park right next to the beach it's literally like 30 meters that way we can okay, see it from just, here just guess how much it is for three hours this is UK near the beach it's probably gonna be about 30 or 40 pounds it's one euro eighty. One euro eighty. That's for amazing. Three hours. Like On the was, beach, practically. There was an American couple behind me, and I was like, I'm just really shocked right now because it's so cheap. Let's go get some food. Actually, no, we're going to go get some cash out so we're not oh, yes. caught out. The weather is amazing. It's about 22 degrees, and it just feels so nice to have the sun because we've been in Porto for the past couple of weeks and it has been raining, raining non-stop like I have never seen it before. Let's go, we're walking in this direction, no, that direction oh, something smells to really good. the beach. You know what's funny though, we came for the surfing and there is not one surfer. I, I thought we were gonna see like death defying waves it's the calmest portuguese sea i've ever <laughs> seen but we're just gonna enjoy it and soak up the sun and find some food should we find some food i see a lot of spray over there so there must be some waves happening over that way supposedly eddie has found a restaurant but all i can see is people hanging up their washing so <laughs> I don't know if he's on the right track here. Okay, we found it. Someone's house, let's go. <laughs> so Eddie chose the restaurant and I thought, you know, it's sunny, it's warm, we're in a seaside location. He is surely gonna take me to a seaside restaurant. Maybe we'll even eat outside, have our sunglasses. It's really warm, I'd like to eat outside. Yeah, exactly. 
he brings me to a restaurant which has excellent reviews in a tiny side street with no windows with what I would call a total like club atmosphere. And cheers with the water. So the nightclub meal was amazing. Eddie had a great chicken with pineapple and they were really careful with the sauce. And my cod was moi chef's kiss. So now we're gonna go and try and find the lift up to the top of um, the mountain where they have the viewpoint and the fort because we're too full to hike up, basically. One of the traditional things of Nazareth is they dry their fish out which you could probably see behind me. I did want to get a bit closer to the stalls, but uh, the old ladies that are selling the dry fish were actually quite sort of aggressive in the sense that they really wanted me to come to their stall and uh, buy some fish, which I've got to confess, I felt a little bit intimidated about. But that's where we want to go, yeah. all the way up there. Right there. It's really far, Sarah. A big walk from there. The lift, which is just over there, right up to the edge. Yeah, that's why it's a 10 minute drive. Yeah. Sorry? Oh, yeah, it's this way. I was following you. Oh, the wing mirror is going to get me. Breathe in, shouldn't have had dinner. Oh God. <laughs> That's where you need to like, jump to. If a car's passing, cars and pedestrians do not fit. But the problem is I've got the tripod on my back and I've knocked on that door quite a few times. I hope the other time I open it and we fall in. <laughs> I don't think it's open. I'm assuming that maybe the lift only works in the summer and it's closed for maintenance, which we would know if we had checked out and actually planned this trip other than let's go to the place where they do surfing, <laughs> which is kind of what we did. The great thing about being digital nomads is that we can work whenever we want. So we decided to work Saturday and Sunday just gone. And that means on Monday today when it's quiet, we can actually go and do some of these adventures. Sarah, close your mouth. Those seagulls just pooped on you. We were just talking about it, lady, but it's in your hair. That and lady is bringing down bread. And I just thought, ha ha, we haven't been pooped on yet. And I just got, oh God, I think it just touched my face. It's on your face. And I thought this was going to make a great photo for a Sunday. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Let's run, yeah. quick. Come to the air, get poop on your face. I hear it's good luck though, isn't it? God, I have so much seagull poop in my hair. It's, it's on the camera that I'm holding. God, oh, I just smeared it. Oh, dear. Yeah, just don't... So by driving, those steps, are what we avoided, which I'm quite happy about. But look at the amazing views. Look at that, that is gorgeous. I think three people went down there a few minutes ago and only one came out. <laughs> it's definitely worth a visit. The views are amazing, but it is a bit windier so you can't fly a drone. It is a bit misleading down on the beach. But come up to the top. It's called Sitio de Nazare. It's really cute. There's all these different churches and lots of stalls selling regional sweets. And we are, I think, just walking to what looks like it's the furthest point that you can walk to. So if you come and visit Nazareth, don't stay just down there by the beach. Come up and have a look at these amazing views. It's about a 30 minute walk up. It's quite steep or it's about a 10 minute drive when the lift is out of Serviso. 
So like the very nice owner of the restaurant we went to at lunch said, it's not actually about when you want to watch the surfing, it's about when nature will let you. So apparently the waiting period is from the 1st of November to the 31st of December. So you never know when the big wave challenge is going to happen. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. So we might attempt to try and come back if we manage to figure out when the competition is and if we're in Portugal at that time. So who knows? Wrong way, yeah. Sarah. Okay, okay. You're my oh. navigator. Focus. No. 100 meters. Turn left. Listen to her. Uh. So now we are going to try not get run over. Don't rub it in. It's not a good idea.